Hello, my name is North, and in this video, I'll be giving you my Nintendo E3 2015 predictions. I see a lot of YouTube channels, they do their predictions, and they include games that don't really have a chance of getting announced. So what I did yesterday is did my Nintendo E3 2015 wish list, where I talked about games that I'll just go absolutely crazy for if they did get announced in Nintendo's digital event. But, in all honesty, I can't really see any of those games get announced. So in this video, I will be giving you my realistic predictions for Nintendo's digital event. Um, so the first thing that I'm expecting to see is Devil's Third. I think we will get a new trailer for Devil's Third. It might be single player, it might be multiplayer, it might be both. I think we will get some new details about Devil's Third. Hopefully we will see the new graphics engine. Um, of Devil's Third. Definitely I'm looking forward to seeing that. We might just get a trailer in the digital event, but in the Treehouse live stream, we might actually get more details about the game. That's what happened last year. I do believe um, Devil's Third, it wasn't actually included in last year's digital event, so it might not get included again. It might just be another trailer uploaded to Nintendo's YouTube account. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely expecting to see more of Devil's Third. And of course, if you do get any information or any new trailers get released, then I will bring that to you on my channel. I am definitely looking forward to that game. Um, so the next game that I'm expecting to hear more about is Xenoblade Chronicles X. I think we'll definitely get a new trailer for the game. That's what I'm, I'm expecting to see. And Yoshi's Woolly World, I'm, I'm expecting to see that game as well, just because it is coming out in Europe a few weeks after E3. So I, I, I am expecting to see a new trailer for Yoshi's Woolly World. The same goes for Mario Maker. And I think we will get a full-blown reveal for Star Fox on the Wii U. I think we will get a reveal trailer. And I think we will actually get to see some actual gameplay from Star Fox Wii U. And I think that game will be the slot um, where Zelda Wii U would have been. So that's where I think um, Star Fox will be. In terms of other announcements, you've got Retro Studios. They're working on a new game. I think they will announce it in this year's E3. And I think it could be a new Metroid game. But I wouldn't put it past them doing another Donkey Kong game. For me personally... I'd rather them do another Metro game now and then go back to the Donkey Kong IP afterwards. That's what I want to happen. And yeah, I think they will be doing um, Metroid and I think it will get announced in this year's E3. That is probably one of my most outlandish predictions for this video. Um, but I do believe Next Level Games, they're working on something as well. It could be Paper Mario, it could be Punch-Out, it could be pretty much anything. It could be a Luigi's Mansion for the Wii U. I'm expecting to, to um, see them at E3. I think we will see their game in Nintendo's digital event. Um, apart from that, I can't really think of anything else. One thing I'm, I'm thinking about right now is Animal Crossing Wii U. I think they are working on it. I'm, I did make a video where... I did say that I think they are working on Animal Crossing Wii U. And I think they are um, going to announce it at this year's E3. And who knows, that might actually be the Zelda Wii U slot um, game. It might not be Star Fox Wii U. It might actually be Animal Crossing on the Wii U. Um, so yeah, I am expecting Animal Crossing Wii U. Um, in terms of 2016 games... Honestly, I honestly don't know. Maybe Animal Crossing might be a 2016 game. Star Fox, that might be a 2016 game. Who knows at this point. But um, in terms of the rest of 2015, I think we will see um, all of the games that will be coming out for 2015. Might see some 2016 games as well. In terms of what they are, it could be Metroid, it could be Next Level's new game. I honestly don't know at this moment in time. And my last prediction is for DLC for some of the Wii U games that are currently out there. So I think we will get an announcement for DLC Pack 3 and DLC Pack 4 for Mario Kart 8. 
and I think DLC Pack 3 will be coming out in November and I think Pack 4 will be coming out in April, May in 2016. That's what I'm expecting to happen. Um, I think we'll get an announcement of some um, Battle Mode DLC. I will leave a link to a video that I made a couple of weeks ago talking about that. Um, and in terms of Smash Brothers, I think we will get more details about Lucas. And I think we will get a reveal of the Smash Fighter Ballot. I think they will say what fighters they will be doing from um, the ones that we suggested. Um, so yeah, that's it in terms of DLC for some of the current Wii U games. I think E3 will be too early for Splatoon DLC just because the game comes out couple of weeks before E3 so I don't think we will see Splatoon DLC packs at this year's E3 I think that will happen in a future Nintendo Direct um, so yeah they're just my predictions for Nintendo's digital event and yeah leave me your predictions for Nintendo's digital event in the comment section below what games do you expect to see in the digital event so yeah that is pretty much all I'll talk about for this video I will leave a link to my Nintendo E3 2015 wishlist video in the description for you guys to check out. But until next time, I'm out of here for now and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.